Now, if we sort by date and modified, you can see here, this is the older file that I compiled about 10 minutes ago. And here's the one we just compiled. So if you made a bunch of changes to the firmware and you want to use your latest one, you're going to want to grab the one with the newest date. So in this case, this would be the one I would copy to my SD card. Now, this printer is one of these where it needs the bin file in a folder. So you have to have that STM32F4 underscore update folder on the root of your SD card. So if you do not have that and you put the bin file on your SD card for this particular printer, it will not update. It has to be in a folder with this exact name. So once you have the bin file, you put it in the folder and put it into the printer just like we did earlier with the pre-compiled file. It will update and then all the new changes will take effect. Now, the one other thing I will cover because this printer does come with an auto bed leveling sensor is I would highly recommend reading through our Unify 2 firmware ABL guide. 